Hey guys, in this video we're just going to be looking at making a custom brush in Photoshop for drawing chainmail links. And you can see my example there, just how I've used it in a super quick sketch just to demonstrate. So on a new layer we're just going to select the elliptical marquee tool, which is just in the top left corner. You can see it shows as a square for me, so I actually have to right click on it and then click the circle. And I'm going to drag this selection out and I'm also going to hold down shift at the same time and all that does is just ensures that we've got a perfect circle. We're going to right click and then I'm going to select stroke. It doesn't really matter whether you select inside, centre or outside, I'm just going to leave it set to centre and I'm going to change the width. The width is going to depend on how big a canvas you're using but I'm going to try 10 here. Okay, so you can see that has put a brush stroke of a width of 10 around the circle. So press Ctrl and D to deselect and then we're going to go back to the selection marquee tool. I'm going to use a square this time and I'm basically just highlighting the area I want. And we're going to click edit in the top left corner and then define brush preset. You can type in a name here if you want but just select OK because um, we're going to be just using this to actually create the correct spacing and the actual final brush. So if you right click once you've got the brush tool selected, which you can do by just pressing B, the very bottom and last brush that you have on your list should be the one we've just created, as you can see there. And all we're going to do is in this top right corner, we're going to come to the brush settings. And if you don't have that, you can find along the top panel window and make sure the option brush is ticked. OK, so once we have that, all we're going to do is select the brush tip shape at the top of the options within the brush panel and all I'm going to do is adjust the spacing. For me 70% looks about good because you want some sort of interlocking interlacing effect you don't want them to be separate. You shouldn't need to have any other settings on I've got smoothing on as a preset doesn't really matter but make sure you've not got like shape dynamics or anything like that on. And then all you're going to do is select this new brush option in the bottom right corner of the brush panel enter a name and click OK. Now when you right click, the last brush on there should be the brush you've just created and there you have it, it's as simple as that. So that's actually the brush finish, you could start using it at that. All I'm going to do is on the layer that I've created this, this chain mail, I'm just going to click the lock transparent pixels option just above the layers option and I'm going to fill that in grey and I'm just going to have a quick go at sort of basically painting it. When you lock the transparent pixels it means you can't paint outside the lines basically. I'm going to stick a neutral grey background in there just so that I can work with some highlights and things like that which wouldn't show up very well on a white background. Okay so I might speed this up a bit but this is basically me just playing around painting over the top of it with the transparent pixels lock on and all I'm doing is working in some highlights on one side so basically using a white just to paint on it and putting some darker greys in and I'm trying to hit roughly the same area on each ring to show where the light would hit. For sketching you wouldn't bother doing this, but if you wanted to paint slightly more detailed armour or whatnot, this might be you know, something you're interested in. Then I'm just zooming in a little bit more here and using a darker grey, not too far off black actually, and I'm just working in some shadows from each ring just to show that they are overlapping and make them look a little bit more 3D. And one final thing I just wanted to show, I was just playing around with some of the effects on it. so. On your layer on the right hand side if you double click on the image it will bring up some layer styles and I was playing around with bevel and emboss which works to a degree but I noticed that adding a stroke option like this on looks really cool might not be perfect depending what you're doing but I wanted to throw it in there because it really does look cool and then all I'm doing is just duplicating the layer so that I'm not redrawing it and repainting that over and over so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching please do subscribe and let me know in the comments below what other videos you guys want to see. Thanks again.